Hey everybody, my name is Pixel. Welcome to Hamilton. Did you know there was a play? There was a play called it Doing. <laughs> it's been three weeks since my best friend disappeared. She went to Hamilton Forest with her boyfriend and nobody has heard from them since. The police say they performed a search of the area and found nothing. They said that further exploration was too dangerous and that the risk to the search party was too great. I can't imagine how you must feel, the officer had told me. His blank gaze failed to meet my eyes, but you can't go looking for them. When I woke up this morning, a moldy page was lying on my living room floor. A set of coordinates written in what I immediately recognized as her handwriting. It's the dead of the winter, but I don't care. I need to know what happened. Now, I have not gotten too many, too many letters or handwritten notes from my friends. But I can imagine that I would not recognize anybody's handwriting. This looks like her backpack. I must be getting close. Ooh, and this mouse sensitivity is way off the chart. But you know what? That's okay. I'm just going to deal with it. But yeah, like, I haven't written too many letters to my friends or anything like that. Maybe back in middle school. But even back then, I would not be able to recognize my best friend's handwriting. I mean... Maybe there are people out there that do, but I am not one of those people. Oh, that's my friend. <laughs> friend, all right. Hmm, what does that say? Warning, extreme hazard, no rescue beyond this point. Is this some shoes? Are these her boots? Why would she have taken them off in this cold? I don't know, but we're going to launch ourselves into oblivion. I can't come back up, but you know what? That's not going to stop me from looking for my friend. Oh, some black marks on the ground. Oh, no. We got nothing to say about that? All right, then. <laughs> I'd recognize that blood from anywhere. That's my best friend's blood. Hmm. This sign. This sign can't stop me. You know why? Because it says nothing. You know what? So we're just going to ignore it. It says nothing. It means nothing. Oh, what's this? Her diary? It looks more or less intact. Maybe there's a clue inside. I got this really strange email today about this old place in Hamilton Forest. Apparently it's super haunted due to some crazy dark shit that happened there three years ago. Not too sure if it's legit, so I'll bring Jake along just in case. Cops are always super strict about staying out of Hamilton, so who knows? Might be something cool. Next page is torn. Her handwriting is barely legible, shaky, and spaced unevenly, like she was writing with her eyes closed. It's going to be great. A really strange, haunted, sure if it's legit, but might be something cool. Bring Jake. Staying. All right, uh, Allison? Allison, Al, Allie? You, uh, you need to work on your writing. Oh, it's <laughs> too late. Um... <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, uh, nope, nope, no, it's, it's not a match, sorry. You're not my best friend. I'd recommend, I'd recognize my best friend's face anywhere. Oh, cool, what is this? We got a bunker of some sort. You know what, this doesn't exactly seem like the smartest thing in the world. Oh, look at that, we turned on our flashlight before it told us to. Because we are just that darn smart. Oh, what's this? What's this? A computer. Hmm. We need to fix your computer. Oh, this is creepy. Cool. Oh, that's a locked door. Not going through there. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, we found the way. All right, what awaits us? What awaits us inside this place? I don't know. Is this door locked? Yep, that door is locked. Oh, oh, four-way. No, not a four-way. Oh, what was that? Oh, what's this say? It's almost impossible to completely restrict entry into the exclusion zone simply because it covers too big of an area which borders multiple towns in the region. People wander in all the time and the amount of missing persons reflects that. Providing extensive warnings about some fake dangers has proven to be ineffective given they don't usually dissuade the foolhardy. It's hard to lie to families about why the police can't send search parties out to look for their loved ones. It's harder to stop them from doing it themselves. Well, you know what? Maybe these people shouldn't be, uh, 
entering the exclusion zones more more times than they should. You know what? But you know what? Like you said, they're foolhardy. Hey, I see a light over there. Is this is this how we get to the note? Nope, that's not how we get to the note. We gotta go around the other way. Man, it just feels like it feels like something is just constantly watching us. Like, you ever get that feeling? Oh, man. Hello? Somebody there? I hear footsteps. Nah, it's probably nothing. Probably just a rat. <laughs> Upon entering the exclusion zone, individuals are immediately at risk, though evidence suggests that the chance of them being affected by the phenomenon is linked to their distance from what is currently thought to be the centermost point of the exclusion zone. Satellite imagery shows that this area contains an as-of-yet unexplored cavern located within the eastern region of Hamilton Forest. All attempts to reach the cavern have been met with failure. Well, maybe they're met with failure because people shouldn't be going in these places to begin with. Man, there are a lot of dead ends with closed doors in these places. You know what? At least it's guiding us to where we need to be. Oh, <laughs> I see a computer on. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that's uh that that is not a good place to see, sir. Sir, I don't madam. I don't think that's a chair. Oh, let's see. We are okay. Please send emergency assistance. I would just say that over and over again. All right, incoming communication request. Accept. Yes. Center, you can please verify. Verification code input detected, omitted from log. Report. Massive internal event has occurred. Admin 01 disappeared during onset of event. Tracker reporting as out of range. Time limited. Please tell us everything you can. Started with massive power loss. Automated backup generator activation delayed. Massive personnel disappearance occurred. Are you okay? Please respond. We are okay. Please send emergency assistance. We're unable to do that while facility status is critical. We are okay. Send emergency assistance. But we're in, oh, oh my God. That activated workstation camera. Oh no. We're okay. Emergency assistance. Center HQ has disconnected. Goodbye. They're like, well, later, bro. <laughs> I think you can handle this all on your own. 3694. I'm giving this letter to you in confidence as I don't want to incite a panic, but this is urgent. The most recent occurrence has forced us to reevaluate the estimated outermost perimeter of the exclusion zone. Assuming as we have been that the zone is a perfect circle, our new data suggests that the Hamilton Forest Monitoring Station lies within the bounds of the exclusion zone. I am forced to conclude that the only reason we have yet, not yet been affected by the phenomena is that the station lies so close to the edge that the probability of an event occurring is extremely low. Please be reminded that I cannot provide any information that indicates what the changes exactly are, as we still do not know the potential triggers and have not been able to find any meaningful patterns or indicators which would be inform us of an imminent event aside from proximity. I am proposing an immediate evaluation, evacuation under the guise of the writing stops abruptly. There's an old Polaroid photo lighting next to the letter. Oh, is, is that Allison? Is that Allison? Somebody, somebody needs to learn how to take a picture that is uh, slightly uncentered. But you know what? It's okay. You know what? As long as they got out okay, we're going to go down. We're going to continue investigating. We've got to find... Are there... Uh-oh. You know, I didn't really think that things would be still working down here. But you know what? I, I guess so. I guess there's still a couple things working. Oh no, what's this? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you, this picture's looking a little messed up. Oh no. Oh god, it's her. Oh. Hey. Hey, buddy. I, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. We're okay. We're friendly. We are friendly. You don't have to do anything. Please. We. Oh, no. 
Oh my god, no! No, no, no! Hey, buddy! Hey, ho! Oh, oh, you're not looking so good! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it didn't take long for the authorities to figure out where he had gone. Mysterious clues, supposedly left by those who had perished in the exclusion zone, had left many to meet the same fate. Rescue attempts were pointless. The police would say you perished in a car accident while searching for your friends. Your body burned beyond recognition. Your story ends here. Wow. That was really good. I really like the pacing in that, the storytelling in that, and just the overall atmosphere with the ambient sounds and then the creature coming up at the end and that log where it showed somebody was having a conversation and they just all of a sudden became non-human. That was really good. I love the tension in that. That was super scary. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to like the video. You want to see more content like this, other videos I've done, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. You want to play this game for yourself? I'll have a link down in the description below. Go check it out. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.